Okay, this video is for my friends at uh, Swamp Hikers and lovers of Florida native plants. This is a recipe for pond apple pie. And looking at these ingredients in front of me, um, you'll notice a real similarity to a key lime pie recipe. We get key lime juice here, we've got sweetened condensed milk, so I'm cheating I'm using a ready-made graham cracker crust and eggs I actually only need one and uh, and two other ingredients that you might not well three others that you might not recognize well sour cream and powdered sugar that's actually for the topping makes it a really nice topping and this is a pond apple this is a fruit that grows in the swamps in South Florida uh, Anona cla uh, Clabra and uh, yeah, very few people have really tried it and a lot of people that have tried it have not tried it when it's properly ripe. Uh, Mike Owen at Fakahatchee Strand State Park in southwest Florida will tell you that if you want to eat a pond apple at the peak of ripeness you have to park yourself under a pond apple tree and hold your hand out because it's not uh, it's not ripe enough to eat until it falls from the tree and by the time it hits the water it's rotten. Now, that's a little exaggeration but not that far off. But basically the pine apple is usually green but when it starts to turn yellow and it starts to split at the top and you touch it and it feels it gives. It's like a properly ripe avocado. That's when it's good to eat. And to know for sure, if you pull on the stem, that center stem will come out just like that. And inside of the fruit, if I can do this one-handed, okay, the fruit is loaded with seeds with a nice layer of pulp around the outside edge of the seeds. So, what I did to create my pond apple pie recipe is I basically used uh, Emerald Lagazzi's key lime pie recipe and I cut the key lime juice quantity in half and instead substitute pond apple pulp for the other half. So I'm going to take a sharp knife and I'm going to cut away some of the pulp away from the seeds enough to make about a quarter of a cup of pond apple pulp and then I'll be using a quarter cup of key lime juice. This is a small recipe because I'm using a small graham cracker crust. If you have a bigger graham cracker crust you can double all of the ingredients. Okay, so I'm going to get to it right now. I have separated the uh, pulp from the seeds and from the skin of the pond apple. And this is from one very average sized pond apple. That should be more than enough to do this small pie. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pond apple pulp and put it into my measuring cup. And uh, as long as it's about a quarter of a cup or even a little more, then uh, I will finish out the half cup by pouring in lime juice on top of it until I'm up to a half cup. And then I've got my measurement according to the uh, Emerald Lagazzi's key lime pie recipe. But this will be a pond apple key lime pie. Alright, so I've got the uh, pond apple pulp in my measuring cup. And I'm just going to top it up until we get to a half cup total. There we have it. Half cup of. Well, no, I got a bit more. I got two thirds of a cup. But that should be fine. I'll pour off a little bit of that juice. Okay. There we go. Half cup of key lime juice and pond apple pulp. That goes into the measure into the mixing bowl. Also put in 
one egg, and one can of sweetened condensed milk. Now if you're uh, going to eat a pond apple just by itself, the best thing to do is what I did here. I, uh, I picked the pond apple when it was yellow, but it was still not ripe when I picked it off the tree. Then I took it home, kept it in the kitchen where it was uh, warm, not refrigerated, and just let it ripen for another couple of days. And when I felt it and it was properly ripe, I wasn't ready to bake the pie, so I put it in the fridge. And it's uh, just fine. Um, if you have not eaten a pond apple at the proper ripeness, it might have been bitter. Or if it was overripe, it's just horrible. But if you find it at the right ripeness, um, it's uh, the taste and the smell is just wonderful. It's like a ripe uh, cantaloupe. Actually, very nice. After mixing the uh, pond apple, key lime juice, uh, sweetened condensed milk, and egg together, then you simply pour it into the graham cracker crust and bake at 325 degrees. This is ready to go into the oven at 325 degrees for 15 minutes. And then uh, after pulling it out, you want to let it cool for a while and then put it in the refrigerator for a couple of hours just to firm up. And uh, just before serving, take your sour cream, one cup of sour cream, two tablespoons of uh, confectioner sugar, powdered sugar, and mix it together for a topping. If you have some fresh key limes, you can grate some key lime peel to go on top of it. It makes kind of a nice little um, eye candy. Uh, looks pretty. So, here we go. 15 minutes are up. Time to pull our pie out of the oven. And notice it's burned up a little bit. And uh, need to set it out on the counter and let it cool long enough that I, I can put it in the refrigerator for a couple of hours and then I can apply the topping and that's it pond apple pie well, you can see that uh, the bits of the pond apple pulp are evenly distributed around in the pie very good that's what I wanted well, the, uh, the pie has chilled in the refrigerator firmed up nicely and I took one cup of sour cream, mixed in two tablespoons of powdered sugar for the topping. Now just spread it on and the pie is done. And that is it. Pond apple pie. There you have it. Kind of takes on a little bit of a pumpkin pie color. And this is very sweet. Very sweet pie. Enjoy.